Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today we are doing another love it or leave it. Kind of been doing these just whenever I get enough stuff to do mini reviews for you guys. So if you're new here, love it or leave it is kind of my quarterly active wear check-in where we do some mini reviews of brands that I wasn't able to do like full on reviews for, but still felt like they needed a place on the channel as well as any quality updates. And lastly, any favorites. So. If you're new, make sure you're subscribed. I've been trying to post a little more than once in a week. And without further ado, let's start out with the mini reviews. So I'm gonna start out with the top that I'm wearing. These are the Butter Butter Sculpted Suede sets. So Butter Butter launched like maybe two years ago at this point. They're a small Australian brand and they're definitely on the pricey end of things. So when they first launched, they definitely had like high quality pieces, but sometimes for basics to be super expensive, it doesn't make me super excited, but they've actually come out with a lot of super cute, unique designs that I feel like are very wearable and very much my style lately. It would be something that I would consider more splurging on. And honestly, when there are so many brands out there that just kind of come out with the same leggings that like everyone sees all the time, I get excited about brands that are doing new things. So this is the Sculpted Suede's collection. I'm wearing the brown color. They also have this sage. Then they also have this cream color. So very much neutrals that I feel like are super cute for fall. This one I got in a medium, could probably wear it in a small. We'll try it on in a second. But I love like the kind of like, almost looks like little leaves, you know, on the bust that from afar, you might not think it has any detail to it, but it just has this super cute seam detail. There's no elastics in it, which sometimes I do prefer an elastic. This one's almost more of like a long line sports bra slash top. And then it has a racer back in the back. The only thing that I don't love about the sports bra, which is kind of an easy fix, is that they have like push-up padding in it. Personally, I don't really need any extra padding for the girls. I know some people like this because it can be a little more flattering, but as you can see right now, it's really like pushing my girls up and I honestly just prefer a single layer of fabric for padding. So I would probably just swap these pads out with normal ones. So let's try these on. Okay, so here's the top. I do have it in a medium. And I would say maybe it runs like a teeny bit small, but I could definitely wear a small in this, which is my normal top size. Solid medium coverage on this one. Good side boob coverage. Nothing is gonna cut into you. There are no elastics. I really love the little seam contour detailing on this. There's no elastics anywhere, so sometimes it doesn't feel super like lifting and bra-like, but with the cup pads that it has in it that actually like push up a little bit, I feel like that actually helps a little with the support, even though Personally, I might take those out. Just a regular racer back in the back. And yeah, it does go from having a seam at the bottom in the back to being seamless in the front. So it could kind of like fold under a little bit. I noticed it did that during my workout the other day. But other than that, I think it's a super cute top and I would stick true to size and then support. I'm getting a light support right now just because this is a medium and I would get more compression in a small. And then we have the pants. So I believe they had leggings as well, but these are a flare legging and they have a little slit to them. And I actually like when pants have a slit to them. I have a pair of jeans that are a straight leg with a little slit and it just helps the pant like fall over a shoe really nicely when you're wearing them out and about. This one is a front facing slit though. So we'll see how I feel. And I got a small in the bottoms. So we have a seamless waistband. They always have no front seam, which I love. Side pockets. And then they do have some contoured glute seams in the back. I haven't tried these bottoms on yet. I unfortunately think they only come in one length. So we'll see if they work for me, but It'd be great if they could come out with a longer length too. Okay, so here are the bottoms. I feel like the set is so flattering. Like we'll touch on it later in the video, but I haven't been feeling super confident. This set makes me feel so good. So we have these side pockets. Let's just check if a phone fits. So phone, it's not like completely seated in there, but it will still fit. Nice high rise goes about to my belly button. Seamless, no front seam and we have curved glute seams in the back. This material is also super soft. It's just very slightly brushed, but unfortunately for me, um, these are not going to work lengthwise. They only have one length, so these are not long enough for me. I just, I wish they worked. This would be such a cute outfit. I could totally see myself wearing this to like, you know, a brunch or something, going to grab a coffee. It would be so cute. I think I also prefer a side slit to a front slit. Other than that, um, very true to size. Stick with your normal size. 
and about like a light to medium compression. And I also will say, solid medium behind the booty scale, pretty flattering. Maybe just a little bit of cellulite coverage, but not full coverage. So these are a raw cut edge on the bottom. I might like cut these into some biker shorts just because these are gonna be too short for me to wear this way. I feel bad doing that. I kind of want to because I still wanna be able to wear them somehow. Comment down below, is that a horrible idea? Okay, next brand for a mini review, we are doing Pop Flex. So I loved the Pop Flex twirl dress. I don't know if I reviewed it in like an official video, but I did a mini review in a YouTube short. So it's on the channel somewhere, but they also have the twirl skirts or twirl skorts, I should say. And I just thought this outfit was super cute. I've been seeing them promote it a lot on their Instagram. So this is part of their like botanical blossoms collection. And it's like a little high neck sports bra with a white band and then the white band and the skirt. So let's try this on. Okay, so here's the sports bra and this is I would consider it a long line sports bra, but this full bottom band is one thick elastic. Sometimes I love, like right now, I just feel like that's like really just securing me super well and giving me extra support. So I'm actually a fan of it in this case. Um, wearing a small in this, very true to size. Um, I would say medium to full coverage because we do have a little bit of a side boob situation here. I'm not gonna fall out of it, but it's not 100% coverage. Good support though. I'd say solid medium, maybe medium to high support. Um, it's just like a feminine sports bra without having to be like over the top in the shape. Like we have another one later that has like frills on it. I just love that this is like feminine, but still good coverage. And like, I feel like I still do a lot in it. And then yeah, just very simple in the back. So let's go over the skirt. So here's the twirl skirt. So it's definitely a very short skirt. I just feel like this has been happening with a lot of skirts lately, which doesn't necessarily bother me because you know it's a skirt. The shorts underneath, they match. But when you lean over, you are gonna see some definite shorts. So if you prefer a longer skirt, um, the Buff Bunny skirts are like, much longer like they go like mid thigh but i love the waistband on this one it's like a legging waistband kind of matches with the top here um it's a circle skirt so it's like has a lot of movement to it it's super flowy only about a four inch inseam on the inner shorts but we do have a side pocket that will fit a phone pretty thick thigh friendly on the inner shorts i'm not getting squished or anything and i just think this is such a fun little set i haven't had a chance to wear it anywhere yet. Um, I could definitely wear this on like a walk or something. But yeah, I think that they are killing it with the skirts lately. They just have been having a lot of cute designs, especially if you like a little more girly of a gym fit. Previously, Popflex gave me a code because they saw my review that I did of their stuff, but the code would kind of go like on and off the website. They did give me a review that should be like permanent so you can use it anytime it's Catherine 15 for 15% off because they can be like you know kind of mid to high price range so the 15% off really helps so feel free to use that and I don't really know if this should go in favorites or here but I've been working out at my apartment gym recently because we had a little stocking situation at my main gym yeah super fun we love being a girl at the gym anyways they used to have like five mats in there. Suddenly all the mats just disappeared. People are clearly like stealing them. So I had to start bringing my own mat and luckily Popflex just happened to send me one. And I have like never purchased my own yoga mat, like maybe way back. I think when I did like a ballet summer intensive and we had like morning Pilates, I might've bought one then, but this is definitely an upgrade. So this is their yoga mat. First of all, I really love this little strap. It makes it super easy to carry and it's on this little loop. So you just kind of undo the strap thing. You you just take it right off. Then you can put it back on when you're done rolling up your mat and then just tighten it up and there it is. And a super cool thing about this mat that I thought that I didn't like at first, but I've turned out to really like it is that it's actually like a suede mat. So you can see it's actually like a suede and not a typical mat material. So if you're getting really sweaty at the gym, you don't like slide around on it. And this honestly makes me wanna take a yoga class with this because I just feel like this would actually be really good for that. My only thing is that the mat is not super thick. I honestly would prefer a thicker mat, but they actually have thicker mats. They just came out with like a super, super thick one. And listen, there's no such thing as too thick for a mat for me. I do push-ups and planks on my fists because I had like a ganglion cyst on this hand. So to fix that, I just do everything on my fists instead of my wrists and it's a much like healthier position for me and because I do that I need a lot of cushioning and this one I have to double up on it in order to get enough cushioning for that so I can still make it work but a thicker one would be nicer but anyways Popflex definitely has very nice yoga mats okay one more set from Popflex I definitely don't like this set quite as much we have these little smocked running shorts. So they're a nice lightweight material. I really like the length of them. Um, the waistband is a little thick and stiff for me. It also has underwear lining and I personally prefer a short lining. 
but we'll try it on just to show. Then here are the shorts. These definitely have potential. Like I really like the shape of the bottom part. I like the lightweight material. It's kind of that like windbreakery material. We don't have pockets though. There's just one butt pocket. And personally, I just couldn't put anything in here and have it feel secure. So I need like a little zip pocket or something. But yeah, I like the length. They're not like overwhelmingly long, but I still feel like you're not gonna flash anyone. And they do have the built-in briefs. Um, I just feel like all that does is give you an underwear line. Like I wasn't at risk for really flashing anyone in these, so I just didn't really think that those were necessary. And then this waistband area is just like super thick, a little too high for me. I have a super long torso. So for most people, it's just gonna kind of overwhelm your torso and be like up to your rib cage. Like it's already almost reaching my rib cage myself. So yeah, just not a huge fan of this fit. And then there's this sports bra and I just don't think the ruffles are for me. Like I'm all for a girly set. I think that pink skirt set is like super cute. I would 100% wear that. But the frills on the sports bra for me, I think are just a little bit too much. Okay, so here's this top. First of all, I'm just not loving the frills. I think they're a little too much for me. It's something that I could maybe wear on like a swimsuit, but not really for a workout top for me. That's not really the main issue I have with this bra though. The main issue is that as you can see, I'm just like spilling out. There's not much space for the bust here. So definitely not a very large cup size friendly bra. I'm wearing a small again and it fits in the band and there's just not enough room up here. So I don't think sizing is the issue. It's just the design of the top. If you're like a C, maybe pushing a D cup and below, I think this would be a very flattering top that could maybe flatter the girls a little bit. But for me, it's just too low coverage. I'd give it low to medium coverage just because we do have good coverage on the side otherwise. And support, <laughs> I feel like I'm falling out. Light support. And then the back is very simple, kind of continues those frills down the back. Although these just have straight up and down straps, they actually feel pretty secure and that they wouldn't slide down on me. Lastly, we have a couple new pieces from Napoa Gym. So they came out with a new rhythm collection and their rhythm leggings have always been my number one leggings from them. They were honestly one of the first brands to come out with a no front seam. Like before Buff Bunny had no front seam, pretty sure before Alphalete had no front seam, Napoja had these no front seam rhythm leggings and they also had these little contoured glute seams that sat above the glutes as well as a small gusset. So they were just like a perfect combo of everything that I want in a pair of basic leggings and they're affordable. They should be like 25 to $30. These ones unfortunately are like a seven eighths length, which I don't love. I also don't love how this new one has like a more contrasting stitch. I wish the color of the stitching matched the leggings more. And this new collection is made of a more sleek material, which they have had soft brush materials before that I think I like just a little bit better, but I do definitely see a purpose for a sleek one. So let's just try this. Okay, here are the rhythms. Um, I'm actually liking this material a little bit more than I thought. It is like a sleek performance, but it has a little more grip to it. So I feel like it would do a good job of staying up. I wish these were just a little bit longer and in the seam is a little bit tight for me. Um, it's cutting in a little bit. Other than that, I think they're true to size. Um, I'm wearing a size small, my normal size. High rise, no front seam, pretty thick waistband. So you still get some lower tummy control. I like that the gusset on this one is super small. It's not extended. So you don't really see it from any angle. And then you have these slightly curved glute seams. They're not like super crazy, but they still do flattered the glutes a little bit. So we're gonna go medium to high on the booty scale. This is one thing I've always loved about the rhythm leggings. So yeah, they've definitely made a couple changes to them, but they still feel like a really solid pair of leggings if you're looking for no front seam and a little bit flatter on the glutes, but nothing crazy. Overall medium compression. You might not get a ton of cellulite coverage, but potentially a little bit. And to match, we have the Rhythm Melody bra. I have reviewed this one before, but I actually really like the sports bra from them. Super basic in the front. We have an elastic at the bottom. So it's just a short sports bra, not long line. Good coverage, removable cups, and just a little bit of detail in the back. Let's just do a quick try on for this. Okay, I have reviewed the bra before, but solid like medium to full coverage. Um, little scooping around here, but no side boob spillage. And then just a little cleavage here. So not quite full coverage. True to size, um, pretty snug on the elastic down here. So I'm getting nice support, um, solid medium support. And then here's the back. I just think it has like a little bit of uniqueness, but I still like that the straps come in together at the back. So there's no risk of straps falling down. I think I forgot to mention it at the beginning of Nupo Gym, but I do have a bunch of discount codes for their website. You kind of get more percentage off the more like, pieces you add. So those will all be down below. But yeah, they tend to be on the affordable side anyway. Then they have a couple new leggings, which I 
just I don't really love them. First they have the Rhythm River scrunch leggings. I feel like they're just doing too much with the glute seams here. They're like so high up, they're like so curved and I just feel like it almost is too much. I like how the Rhythm leggings just have that like gentle curve that just contours the glutes without being super in your face. And these remind me of the first generation Whitney Simmons, like before the seams were like flat lock. And it also kind of reminds me of the material. And although I feel like the Whitney Simmons collection from Gymshark is their best collection, I still always feel like the material is just a little bit cheap. So here's what I mean by those seams. It's like kind of that like hidden seam, but it's not a flat lock. And then these do have a scrunch in the back. I was hoping they'd be the kind of scrunch that kind of stretches out and turns into like a glute separation seam, but it kind of stays as a scrunch. So I didn't love these. So here are these leggings. Compared to the other ones, these are definitely a more brushed material. The other ones were more sleek. Similar waistband to the rhythms, but you can see the seam detail between the rhythms, which are the flat lock seam, and this one, which is like the internal seam. I think I just prefer the rhythms. And yeah, these are very much feeling like a Gymshark Whitney Simmons material that I just, I don't know, something about it I don't love. They're also, again, just ridiculously short on me. Like these are not a 25 inch inseam. Yeah, I just measured and I got like a 24 inch inseam. Just too short for me. That's like Capri length. So I need like a 26 at least, but that's just me. And then we have the scrunch in the back and you just, I just don't like to see those little wrinkling of the scrunch. Definitely, you know, good glute separation. I'd say definitely at least medium to high in the booty scale. I just don't love that. And this part is just like almost too round. We all know I love the Amplify scrunch, but when it comes to like typical scrunch leggings, I'm not a big fan of those. I like the Whitney Gymshark like internal hidden scrunch, but if I can see it and it's on like a regular pair of leggings, I don't love it. So yeah, I'm not a huge fan of these, but they are true to size, definitely a little shorter. These ones probably, not very cellulite friendly, just because they feel a little bit thinner. Then they sent me these last time for review as well, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but I'm just not really a fan of this shape that they're doing. It has like a pretty small front waistband. They did thicken it from last time, so I guess they did make that change, but then they go up like almost entirely in the side in the back and I just don't really think this ends up being a very flattering shape in the back, especially since the waistband at the side is like literally one inch and I just feel like it's it's too much. So we'll give this a quick try on. Okay, so here are the leggings. They're looking better than I initially thought. I definitely think they thickened up this waistband. It was like super thin before. So I appreciate that they're taking the feedback and improving them. Um, again, this fabric is better than I thought as well. Still wish that it didn't have this contrasting in this shade, but this is a nice shade. I just still don't know if I like how far up this comes because it just leaves you very prone to showing underwear lines because my underwear goes here and it goes way up here and then I just don't know how I feel about the back. Someone comment down below, maybe these are better than I thought. Um, I think that they're definitely better than last time, but I still think I just prefer the regular rhythm leggings. Definitely true to size on these ones, nice and stretchy. About a medium compression, high rise, and I don't think these would slide down even though they are slightly sleek, but they are like super short on me. <laughs> Wait, this looks like hilariously short. I thought they said that these were a 25 inch inseam. This just looks way shorter than 25 inches on me. These are like capris. So they're not long enough, but if you're short, maybe they'll work. And then lastly, they have this little top, which I think is a super cute little layering piece. It has a little seam at the bottom. It's a lightweight, sleek material. And then it has this like kind of diamond cutout in the back, but it's reinforced. So it just doesn't really look like a seam, but it is. So let's try this one on. Okay, then here's this top. Um, it could be just like a teeny bit longer for me, but I'd say overall true to size. If you have a larger bust, um, I'd consider sizing up because it is a little snug there for me. I love how sleek and lightweight this material is. We got a high neck kind of scooped shoulder detail and I do like wearing tops like this just to throw on over the gym. And then it has that little cutout in the back. So very simple, lightweight, still cropped. So you are gonna see a little bit of skin, but yeah, definitely not the flowiest material. Um, if you want it to be a little more boxy, I would size up, but you can stick to the size. Okay, next section of the video is quality updates. And the only quality update that I can think of is I got these Petula shorts. So I reviewed these on my stories because I was out of town and I didn't have time to do a full review, but I was wearing these little shorts and they're made of a brushed material. And I was visiting home for the break and my parents have like one of those little Vespa scooters and Ian has a motorcycle license. So 
he can drive them. So I was on the back of that and he was wearing a backpack and it was kind of like rubbing onto the front of my shorts a little bit. And we got some pretty major pilling. So um, that was definitely like a situation where I'm not normally in, like I wear brushed things all the time and they don't get this problem, but these were like essentially destroyed by that experience. So here's a little reminder to be careful <laughs> what leggings you're wearing if you're going to be in a situation with any like rubbing chafing of things. I had a similar thing happen to a Camo Fitness Ellen tank when I visited my friend in Florida and we went to Universal and I had a crossbody bag all day. With all the movement of that crossbody, it ended up creating a very similar pilling situation. So this isn't unique to the Petula shorts, definitely something that's going to happen with brushed pieces. It's just kind of a bummer because it's some pretty bad pilling. And then on to favorites. So I thought I would share like a little beauty favorite. So I don't know if I talked about this on my YouTube channel, definitely talked about it on Instagram, but about a year ago, I started using Grande Lash MD. It's a lash serum and it like really grew my lashes. My lashes were super long. Like I would get compliments on them and everything. But after a year of using it, I just felt like I couldn't deal with the irritation it was giving my eyes anymore. And I would only wear mascara like once a week. So it's like, you know, my eyelashes are blonde. So when I wasn't wearing mascara, it's not like you could really see them anyway. And any lash serum that like actually is gonna work is going to have prostaglandins in them and it causes like orbital fat loss over time, which is aging to the eyes. So I was like, I just don't think it's really worth it for me anymore because again, only like once a week would I go out. So instead I thought I would start doing like a little lash situation. So if you're like, Catherine, your lashes, they've been popping off lately. They are false lashes. I had been doing the little lash trios for a while and placing like three little individual sections and that just got a little time consuming. So last week I bought the Ardell Demi Wispies. So here they are. I have heard about these lashes since the early OG beauty YouTuber days. I used to be obsessed with like beauty YouTubers. Honestly, that's where I learned how to do like all of my makeup and I honestly just thank them for being around to show us the tips and tricks. Anyways, I essentially just cut these in half and then threw them on my eyes and I feel like they're like really nice. They're not too thick. They add a little bit of length while still looking very natural. And yeah, highly recommend these. I got this set of four for $11 on Amazon and definitely plan on reusing them. And the last of the favorites. So I'm gonna just like be real with you guys for a second. My confidence has not been the best um, for the past, gosh, maybe like a month or so. I don't really know what's going on, but just haven't been feeling my best. And when I'm not feeling my best, I resort to one pair of leggings to make me feel better and it's the Alpha Elite Amplifies. So for the past two weeks, I have worn like eight gym outfits and seven out of eight of them have been Amplify leggings or shorts and they just make me feel so good. So, I mean, these will just always be a favorite. I still have yet to have any of them rip on me. I even had Peach like slide down my leg with her claws. I still have like a scar on my leg. It didn't even cut a hole in these. So I just love them so much. I feel like I look at myself in the gym in these and I just feel very confident. I feel like it shows off the glute gains, snatches the waist, and they are also lightweight enough leggings that I can wear them in the summer and I don't overheat. I have never had a favorite pair of leggings like these ones. I feel like all my years of wearing leggings, I had ones that I loved, but there's nothing that I reach for more than these, like ever. I've never reached for a pair of leggings as much as these. And I would just like to thank Alphalete for making me feel confident when my confidence is not really there. Okay guys, I think that's it for this episode of Love It or Leave It. If you made it this far and you are not already subscribed, make sure to do so and give the video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.